Hey guys, so you'll notice it's all me today. Um, it's Saturday and I wanted to do a quick haul of the Sephora VIB um, sale. I guess it just happened. It was, was it 15% off? It was 15% off. Why am I thinking? Oh, because Ulta has a 21 going on right now. Um, but it was 15% off, so you know I had to go in and get a couple of things that I'd been eyeing. And I just wanted to show you what I got real quick. Um, you'll notice the change in the background. This is my house. Um, this is like my little makeup room. And if you hear like a pack of crazy dogs barking, it's because, as you guys know, I have three dogs. It's super quiet at the house, and I'm just waiting for them to have like you know, a breakdown. Um, but anyway, let me show you what I got. I went to the store with a girlfriend, my friend Heather, and got um, a couple of things, and then I ordered the rest online because they were out of something I really wanted. So I'll show you what I got in the store first. Um, okay, so you guys have probably seen our video on Hourglass. Um, hi, Josh. I finally went and got the Veil Mineral Primer. It comes in a box like this. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but with the 15% off, I figured, you know, why not? It has SPF 15 in it. It's oil-free for those of you who who are concerned about that. But it comes in a really nice glass bottle like this. And we talked about it in our Hourglass, like, review video. Well, I'll try to, like, put that below. But it makes your face feel, oh my gosh, so soft. I can't even explain it. Like... This is something I think every woman should try. If you go into Sephora, they can give you a little sample just so you can see if you like it. Because like I said, it is a little expensive. Um, but I think it's worth it. And I've held out. I've started to use up some of my other primers just to see. Um, but I'm excited to use this. I'm, I'm really excited to get it. So, yay! Um, thanks for turning me on to that, Josh. If you don't know, Josh Collier is a makeup artist. He works with... Uh, hourglass and he came to our Sephora event and he also has a YouTube channel so be sure to check him out um, and then at the register I don't know if you guys are like me but you know when you like get to the register they have all these little um, bins of like travel size stuff or just yeah that gets me every single time I'm like I don't know I'm like a sucker but they had this little set, um, it's a Tarte Duo, and I don't really have a lot of Tarte. The only thing I had was that Lip Surgeons, and I didn't really enjoy that. Um, but you know, the Amazonian Clay, Amazonian Clay blushes, um, I kind of wanted to try, I just, I don't know, for some reason I never did. So, it's a small little one in doll face, and it's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Just a baby pink like that, no shimmer, which if you know me, I'm usually into shimmer. I don't know if you can see. Um, I usually like shimmer, but this is kind of, this is matte, definitely matte pink. It looks gorgeous, and I can't wait to wear it. And then I got this Park Avenue Princess bronzer. First of all, I really like the packaging, but I don't own a lot of bronzers. Like, I have the uh, Benefit Sunbeam, but that's a liquid, so I don't have any real powder bronzers. It looks really pretty. I swatched it in the store. It seemed light enough for my skin tone. Um, it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. It looks really subtle, though. Um, I'm excited to try that. And I think the two of them, it was only like 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure that with the 15% off, I pretty much got this for free because I also got my husband some shaving cream, which I forgot to bring with me um, to bring in here. But he uses the Art of Shaving um it's not a cream, is it? I don't really know what it is. Um, but he loves it, and I don't know if you guys have husbands, boyfriends, brothers, dads, or whatever that have problems with, like, ingrown hairs down here. Um, he does, and since he's been using this for the last probably six months, he's noticed a significant decrease. So just a little something to pass along to the men in your life. Um... Now for the reason that I had to go online and make a purchase. Oh my gosh, you guys. The Fresh Sugar. They've done it again. They've come out with a coral lip treatment. And you guys know how Mindy and I love the Fresh Sugars. Um, I think we both have them all. I don't have rosé. But um, I wanted this. They hadn't gotten it in the store yet. And I found out that our store is not going to get it until May. So I had to go online and I wanted to get that 15% off. Um, have not used this yet. I've been waiting to show you guys because I got it a couple days ago. Um, gorgeous. I don't know. I'll try to swatch it. Um, 
my setup in here, I might not be close enough for you to really see it. So I apologize for that. But I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see that a little bit. Um, really nice color. It is slightly glossy. You know, it's got that real moisturizing feel. Um, all of the fresh sugars feel this way except for honey. For some reason, Mindy and I have realized that the honey one, the the form that formula is different. I don't know what they did, but that's probably our least favorite one. But this is just in time for spring, and I can't wait. Um, okay, and then this was something totally random that I picked up. I'd seen it on YouTube. Can't remember who had it, but it's the Cora's Wild Rose and Vitamin C, and it's Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. Um, just comes in a little box like that. I've never used any Cora's before besides like a little hand lotion. I know um, Mindy really likes their liquid lipsticks, but I don't know. This kind of sold me. Um, it's a rose and vitamin C. And here's what it says it does. It's formulated with wild rose extract and a natural source of vitamin C to address visible signs of premature aging caused by sun and environmental exposure while providing antioxidant benefits. Works to improve skin texture and even skin tone. You'll notice softer, smoother, and more radiant skin by morning. So I guess, I'm guessing I just put this on at night, sleep in it. Um, we'll see, you know, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm really, I'm curious, you know, as, as a woman, as a woman, as a girl over the age of 30, um, stuff like this really attracts me and um, wherever I saw it on YouTube, they, it got a really good review. So, I'm just going to try it, and I figured, you know what, it's my 15% off. I've been really good with not buying, like, well, Mindy and I have been really good with not buying too, too much, um, this year. We've done really well. So, I thought, treat myself. You know, treat yourself. And then this little thing, you're probably going to laugh at me because, you know, can I beat that horse anymore? But I got a baby Jennifer Aniston perfume spray. Um, this pretty much was for free after the 15% off. Um, yes, I have the regular size. <laughs> I have the rollerball. And for some reason, Psychotic Jamie needed this little one. Okay, here's my thought process. I have, um, have a big trip coming up in the summer. And... I'm going to take the rollerball with me, yes, but, you know, I don't know, I wanted a little spray, and when I saw this, this was just $12, I was like, I have to have it, it's going to be perfect to travel with, and I can still take my rollerball if needed, but pretty much this might just do it, but it's so cute, I love it, and it's only, um, a quarter of a, of an ounce, so I'll show you the difference, hold on, I have my big girl back here, so big girl, little girl, there you go. I don't know. It was silly. And it was one of those daggone last minute things where I'm like, what is this travel stuff? And I clicked on it and they had a mini. I'm like, what is wrong with me? Um, and then I had two codes. I had, I have a lot of VIB points saved up. I kind of don't spend them a whole lot. So I had tried the Benefit Bad Gal Lash years ago. In fact, I used to love it. This was probably, if I don't date myself, um probably a good 10 years ago and I really really liked it and it was just a hundred points so I was like let me just trade in a hundred points you know like I need another mascara but we love Minnie and I love mascaras so it's just a baby I'm gonna try it see if I liked it see if I like it now as much as I liked it then because I don't know sometimes formula changes and I'm really happy with my current mascaras but I figured I'd give it a try and then I had a code for a free, like, little gift. So I got the Clarins Extra Firming Day Wrinkle Lifting Cream, and it's for all skin types. I've heard rave reviews of Clarins skin uh, products. Lisa Lisa D1, in fact, I just watched a video where she loves their skin, uh, their self-tanning products. And I don't know, I wanted to try it. I had the choice between this and, I don't know, some random other stuff, but I don't... I've only tried the Clarence lip gloss, and by the way, they are my all-time favorite. Like, I still am loving them. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to use this, and it was free. So anyway, 
that is all that I purchased and I think I did enough damage to keep me happy for a while uh, what did you guys get? Did you guys take advantage of that 15% off? Um, I'm, we're very curious to find out what you guys were shopping for. And then one last thing, I don't know if you can tell, but I got my hair cut. Um, it's a fresh cut and I don't know, I really like it. It feels really light. My friend Dinah cuts my hair and literally, um, yesterday all I did was keep touching it because I feel like I lost like five pounds because you should have seen the hair that she took out, she texturized it, so she kind of went in, I guess you could say, and like thinned it a little bit, because I have such thick hair that it doesn't grow, it grows down, but it grows out, so the shorter I go, the more potential it has to be like, like mushroom head, and who wants mushroom head, I don't, um, but I'm really happy with it, I love it, and I just got it done the night before last, so I haven't washed it yet, don't think it's gross, but when I get my hair colored, I try to go as many days as possible, with the natural with the color in it and I try not to wash it out because you know how sometimes you'll see it fade a little bit in the shower um, well you'll see it rinse out and probably the next time you see my hair I mean I think it looks cute but the next time you see it you'll be like can that girl even comb her hair because while I take my time with my makeup I Mindy gets on me all the time because she's like it only takes two seconds to like you know really learn how to like like uh blow out your hair with a brush because I'm the type of girl that's like okay with my hair blow dry done <laughs> but um with this with this cut I think I could do that and I think that if I use like my flat brush and really like worked it like my friend Dinah did that I could make it cuter and not just blah because I feel like my hair gets blah easily because I don't usually spend a lot of time with it um but anyway that's enough rambling hope you guys are enjoying your weekend and I will see you soon bye